Yes, yes. Yo, we got Ooh. some transfer news from Bombat so exclusiva with regards to transfer news. I can confirm that City Extra have I have, bro, activated the buyback clause from Turkey FC and Jordi Potty has returned to the City Extra Studios. Bray, how's it to be back, Bray? This is a message for YouTube. <laughs> um, by the way, I only, I only seen that today that you uploaded that to YouTube, innit? Just a video <laughs> of me, Steven. Um, I'm good, bro. I've, uh, I've got a nice tan. I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. It was, it was a nice week off. Yeah, uh, well, you, 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 I mean, you kept in tune. I mean, you, you nipped into some of the streams that I was doing, so yes. you're not completely ob oblivious I'm, to it. I'm not out happened. of the out the loop in it. Yeah, that is good news. That is good news. But yeah, we've got loads of stuff to talk about, guys. The main thing we are going to be speaking about is, of course, as you can see in the title. Cucarella. Rumour has it that City have now made a bid, but has that bid been accepted? Loads and loads to discuss. Before we get into it, I want to say a massive shout out to Bet Victor. They sponsored today's stream. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a clip a little bit later on from them, so a massive shout out to them. Their video is in the description there. Make sure you smash a like on the stream. 165 likes, 500 people in the stream. Let's see if we can get up to 250 likes rapid. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, guys. We've just hit 57,000 subscribers. We're less than 3k away now from 60k, man. So please subscribe to the channel uh, if you've not done so already. Uh, shout out in Famous FC, yes, yes, Bray. Good to good to yes, see yes. you in the channel, bro. Um, and it's all good, bro. Life is life is good for me. How's life for you, bro? Good, bro. Just got back from holiday. An instant heat wave in it. Got I me mean, at 38 degrees. So I couldn't escape the heat. But uh, do you know what I mean? It's nice and chill. You bought a fan. I, I mean, did. if I did. things are changing around here, also you can see like you can see the fan in the background now because we, there used to be a couch at the back. We've been that off. Also, lots of changes going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, let's get into it then, guys. Cucurella, £50 million. Pound. Now, this has been a transfer which has been dragged out probably a lot longer than it should have been. Um, and this has been basically at the at the decision of Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, let's just recap what happened. Now, for my opinion, what happened is, and this can be backed up if you do yourself a timeline. Now, I can't be bothered doing a timeline today, but we'll maybe do it another day. Um, but if you do the timeline, you'll see that when City and, and, and Brighton were... were first linked with a, with a move for Cucurella to join City, the fee was rumoured to be around 30 million quid. And and it seemed to be like, yep, yeah, 30 mil, 35 mil, something like that, and, and it looks like Cucurella's going to join Manchester City. Cucurella was actually asked on an interview um, what you know? What what's the situation with you know being linked with a big club like City? And he basically said, yeah, like if you're linked with a big club, like you got to go in it, like fair dues. And then a couple of days later after that, there were a few links and rumours suggesting that Brighton had re revised their sale price from 30 to 35 million to 50 million pound. Now a few people were like, nah, that's just that's just paper talk, it's a load of rubbish. However, the, the deal is clearly stalled as it's not gone through. Um, Zinchenko was has now basically left got of Arsenal. Sterling is gone. And this deal has still not gone through. Now this tells me that that, that information about Brighton up in their price to 50 million was probably correct. Whether the price was spot on, that's by the by. But the fact is, in my opinion, based on what I've read, I do think that Brighton have increased the price from 35 to 50 million. Which, by the way, isn't necessary. I'm not saying that's a wrong thing to do from Brighton, but I think that is the reason why the deal stalled. I think it's very good business from Brighton. They know that we want to left back. Uh, they can see how interested we were trying to sign him. We got our personal terms agreed with him straight away. Um, so it has just been all about the fee. And Brighton want big cash in because they don't want to lose him because he's he's a really good player. Um, so I think I think from Brighton they're just trying to milk it, just like any club would milk it um, if City came in for one of their players. But um, but I think City are kind of moving in the right way about this. We're not going to be bent over in it by, by Brighton in it and just saying you know what. <laughs> well, but yeah. I, I do think well that's the. At the, the, the front we're putting up at the moment is the news that's come out recently is we're not going to pay the 50 million however I think we will end up paying the 50 million it'll be add-ons we well bro you can't you can't have that stance if you've already accepted to sell Zinchenko if you're going to have the stance of we're not paying 50 million you're being ridiculous come down to our fee then you have to keep Zinchenko as your bargaining chip because then you'll just say to Brighton well we're not selling Zinchenko if you don't sell us Cucurella but the fact is Brighton know City have sold Zinchenko and they know now that we actually only have two official fullbacks at our football club in Cancelo I, and Walker. So I think we're not I think, in the negotiation position here. Yeah, we're not. We're not in the power position at all. I, I also think that we are kind of go. I, I think Joe, when the first kind of fifty mil rumours came out, mm. so did the Ram rumours. 
So yeah. I think that was City kind of saying there are also and it is available. But then obviously we've gone back and it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still waiting. So Brighton know if they just wait, yeah. they wait out, City will come with his cash. And then obviously now we're getting the Sosa rumours. I think City's right. trying to basically say, look, we've got alternative options, but Brighton are going, yeah, but you don't really want them, do you? You and, want you want Brighton our guy, right. yeah. And Brighton are spot on there, and, and this is the problem that they're in. Like when when Brighton said, "Nah, actually, it's fifty mil," and City went, "Nah, we're walking away," and then they went and spoke to Ram or you know put the links out about Ram. As soon as City went back to Brighton to see what Brighton was saying, Brighton knew that they were in the power position because as soon as City went back to Brighton and said, "Have you had any second thoughts about the uh, the transfer <laughs> fee?" Brighton knew all of a sudden, "Ah, right, okay, so you don't really want Ram, you don't really want the Susa guy, you don't really want any of these guys. You actually want Cookerell." If you want him, that's fine. We got to pay the price. And the thing is, as well, if City go, well, I tell you what, we'll do then. We'll go and get Ryan for twenty-five million. Brighton will go. All right then. You know why? Because they probably back that Cucurella will hold his value, if not increase the value, yeah, over the next, next season. Yeah, yeah. Because he's still got a contract until twenty twenty six. So say he smashes it this year, he's still got three years left on his contract. So they'll still be in the power position. Maybe he'll become a little bit more regular for Spain, which will increase his sort of value because then it'll be an international footballer for Spain. And if he slams it again in the Premier League this season for Brighton, it'll be more clubs interested. So. I can sort of see why Brighton are doing this. In fact, no, I can't sort of see. I, do, I absolutely 100% can see why Brighton are, are holding us to the £50 million. Um, and time will tell whether the City do go ahead and pay this. I believe that they will, because I don't think that they'll walk away at £50 million. I think that Cucurella, and I mentioned this on the stream last week, has the profile and the potential to become a top, top class fullback. Um, Good for Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, and, and and you know, I just think that City will recognise that, and they won't want to miss out over ten to twelve million, whatever the fee is, and go and get the B Tech no. guy or go and get the the backup guy. I I, I think I think we're going to go basically whatever they want. The fifty million pound is obviously what they want. Uh, I think City will try and work it as close as to well as low as it is with reasonable add-ons. Do you know what I mean? I, I think they'll try and make that happen. It might they might not, they might end up paying like I mean forty five million and just five million add-ons but I feel like they'll try and cut at least a little bit of cash on the deal um, just to try and make it look like City have got a little bit of a win but at the end of the day we have just sold Zinchenko for 30 million with 5 million or whatever it is yeah. we've sold Raheem Sterling for like 50 million pound whatever it was so I think I think they'll pay it I think they'll just end up paying it we've got this cash in the bank obviously it is been, it's been a one in one out system and um, obviously right now Zinchenko and Raheem Sterling have left it was apparently the Raheem Stone deal was holding up the Cucurella side of it. That's what was reported. Um, yeah. So now Raheem Stone is gone. You, we, I, I fully expected when I was in last week in Turkey to Cucurella to just go into overdrive and a signing, but looks like we waited for Sinchenko to go first and then go for Cucurella, which you'd think they would have done the other way around, then it's trying to hold, like you said before, at least a little bit of a bargaining chip. Yeah. But, I guess well, it depends um, on when the players want to leave. Unless a deal is, is that close that they're just like, all right, you can go now, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But there is rumours of a potential City bid already been made for Cucurella. We'll come to that in just a second. Roberto's coming with a membership chat for six months. Thanks a lot for becoming an extra club member. Plus, I can actually see loads of members in the chat. We've got Mib, Asgar, Sign Silver, Jambo, Carl. Yes, yes, good to see you guys. Um, it says, why are we getting rid of Zinni, crying face? He assisted Rodri. It's a sad situation, bro, but ultimately, you know, Pep clearly want someone else you know what I mean otherwise he wouldn't sanction this move um, so that's why Pep I'd say the answer to that question bro is probably Pep Guardiola I think I think Pep thinks it's the right time for him to leave and yeah. I think he's said to Zinni for the past two or three years if you want to go we'll let you go Yeah. And I think now it's come to it and he's going we are going to sell you this summer Correct. Uh, Bertful South coming in with a £2 super chat. Yes, yes, Bertful. Thanks a lot, Bray. Says, are you still doing the pre-season with Big Steve? Not tonight because he's been he's stuck somewhere. I think he's stuck in London, so that's unfortunate. But Bayern Munich is still on. Yeah. Unless he gets stuck in London again. So, <laughs> not tonight. But, uh, well, Bayern maybe, Munich with Big Steve. Link yeah, up, confirm. In a few days. In a few days, it will be. Right. Potential rumours of a Manchester City bid have been... Uh, been said about Cucurella. Now, before we talk about this, uh, there's today's sponsor is the guys at Bet Victor. I said I want to show you a clip, and I'm going to show it you right now. Have a look at this clip, guys. Martin is expensive as well, approaching what 60 million quid for a guy that you know it's a coin flip from the Dutch league. We have to be completely real. I mean, there's, there's a list of Dutch players that have come over from that league and absolutely bombed. listen to this guy here. Yeah, forget the Dutch league in the Champions League, he pocketed your boy, he absolutely pocketed Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland couldn't get a sniff. That absolutely one game. In one game. 
Yeah, that's all it takes. One game, they played against each other. One game, we put him in his pocket. Mate, I mean, if, if, if... That's not true. So, no, is that an admission? <laughs> well, it is true. It is totally true. Haaland was pocketed by Martinez. That's not true. Wow. It is true. And, and he got pocketed. And war. knocked out of the Champions League. What about that's that? one game. That's one game. Um, it was six games where they got knocked out of the Champions League. We have to be real and say that you're signing someone that you know isn't even six foot tall who's meant to be a defender. I mean, every striker in the league is going to have a field day. I think you need to calm down here because at least half of the people watching this video are below six foot and I think you're offending all of them. <laughs> Yes, yes. Right, okay, okay. Right, you can hear us now. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Booby and McCall going at it. Um, obviously, because of the whole thinking that Martinez bought her, um, basically had, had Haaland's number in the game. And if you actually watch that game, bro, Haaland had bare chances, you know. Yeah, like, I've I, seen it today. I, someone I, put it on Twitter today. Yeah, someone so put it on Twitter and I was like... That ain't true, Adam McCall. You know what I mean? I don't know what you're watching there, bro, but you did not see that happen. And I'm with Booby on this one. I think that that Martinez guy, I think he could struggle. Um, you know, he's not not the tallest of guys, especially if you look at the league now as well. Look at City and Liverpool, both going for tall, powerful strikers. Um, and I just think that, you know, United... Well, the thing is, United are in a different zone here. This ain't even a roast, but United are fighting for, like, fifth position. So maybe maybe he's a, he's a fifth position player. I don't know. But... But the full video is available in the link this in the description. Go check it out, watch the full video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and let them know in the comments that City Extra sent you helps us out a lot. Um, right, okay, Cucurella, rumours of a City bid, bro, I seen last night, and it was confirmed by someone. So don't just deny what I'm saying straight away, yeah? You deny after I've spoken. Apparently, City have made £37 million bid for Cucurella with £12 million in easily obtainable add-ons. Now, this is by a guy on the Blue Moon Forum, so it's, it's you know, it's not super like... Super silver. It is what it is. However, even Rick said... Rick, Rick who I owns mean, and runs the website, yeah, said that this guy is legit, like, he knows him. For people who don't know, in it? Like, basically, Rick made Blue Moon Forum, um, and... He's come out and basically fully back this guy as being like if he's saying if he's saying this shit, it's 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 on. Yeah. So like basically going going full full it <laughs> he's going all out basically. A lot of people putting their reputations on the line in the Blue Moon Forum this year, aren't they? Um, yeah. but, but, but what what we're thinking about that? Because it's like that that's a way of City basically saying, Look, we want Cucarella. We understand what you're saying about 50 million, but we can't pay 50 million for Cucurella because we don't think that's fair. So we'll give you 37 million, which is still probably over what he's actually worth right now today. However, 12 million in easy achievable add-ons, you're still getting your 50 mil basically. So I think this is, a, I think this is a, if it's true, I think this bid from City is a really clever bid. I think it's a really fair bid actually as well. I don't think many Brighton fans in the chat should really be mo moaning about that bid. I think it's a fair bid because uh, basically you're getting 49 million. The, the 12 million in add-ons is easily achievable add-ons. That's how it was described. It'll be like appearances or something like that. So I don't know, man. I'm, I think that's a fair bid, and, and, and I'm, I'm wondering and waiting to see if it's true. Will Brighton accept that, or will they hold out for 50 mil all in one? Like, you know, what I mean, on, without add-ons. Well, the whole the way that the guy put it seems to be that it's kind of they've gone with that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's a. Uh, well, the, the, the guy actually said Zinchenko, uh, obviously Zinchenko's on and Kukrela bid is in. It obviously, it all depends on, like you say, whether that whether they find that accessible. But they are getting kind of their fifty million pound there. It's just there's an easily achievable add-ons involved, and I think that's the best way to work it. And that's how that's how a lot of deals are nowadays. And I think Brighton, I think they'll accept it, but I have no idea. Like they, they might, they might just go now. We want the fifty yeah. mil straight up because they, they might want to go and sign a new player. Um, so it's, it's it's a difficult one, but I still at the end of the day I still think that we're going to sign Cucurella this this summer. I don't know how soon it'll be. I guess it depends on like the time frame is difficult with this one. I think City would have wanted it to be done a lot earlier than this, yeah, probably getting yeah. me on the preseason tour and stuff. However, it could go on a lot longer with the back and forth between Brighton. You know what? Brighton. Maybe might have been the case is I wonder, I wonder if, and this is just me thinking out loud. If City, when they originally put that bid in for Cucurella of around 30 to 35 million, which got rejected, I wonder at that point if they were thinking about keeping Zinchenko as well. And then basically they've been forced into a decision of if we want Cucurella, due to the amount that it's going to cost, we have to sell Zinchenko. Because if you think about it, the Zinchenko rumours only really started like two, two, three weeks ago. They weren't there all summer. 
you know what I mean? And, and there was no sort of uh, rumours or links linking Zinchenko away from the club or that Zinchenko wanted to leave. It was just sort of like, ah, Zinchenko, he can probably decide whether he wants to stay or go. So I just wonder if in the last couple of weeks, with City realising that if we want Cucurella, we are going to have to pay up, they basically said to, to Zinchenko, look, bro, uh, we're going to have to find you another club or something. That that could be total BS. I'm just literally thinking out loud. I'm not saying that is the, that is a case. Yeah, it's not, not, not like a fact, isn't it? But it's plausible, isn't it? Infamous FC there said, uh, if Brighton isn't accepting the rumoured bid, then we should just leave him and go for another fullback or keep Zinchenko. Uh, keep Zinchenko is completely off the cards now. He, he's gone. Um, there's no announcement from Arsenal. But uh, Pep Guardiola confirmed in the conference today that he said his goodbyes yesterday with them and he is on yeah. his way to Arsenal. Yeah, so you know, we, have to, yeah, we have to buy a fullback. The question is who? Now, at the moment, Cucurella is the furthest one ahead. There ain't that many links linking us to other people. There's a couple, you know, Ram, we've seen once or twice. We've seen uh, Sousa, but other than that, there ain't really much out there. Let's go to some of your chats then, guys, and see what you guys are saying about this. We've got David Constable. Yes, yes, bro. Member for seven months. Said, we're already balls deep for Cucurella. We need to pay up. I think that we basically put ourselves into that situation. So I would agree with that, David. I, 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 th I, I think City know we're going to get him regardless. I think they're in the position, obviously. Or else we wouldn't have just let Zinchenko walk up. Do you know what I mean? Walk up. Which is why I said before, I wonder if actually the deal is closer than we believe. Yeah, and, yeah. and actually, that could then lead to the fact that maybe that thing on the Blue Moon Forum is true. It is true. And, you know, the, the thing is about Brighton, if that, if that, if that, bid, is, if that bid is correct, let's, let's say it with facts, it's a £49 million bid because the, the add-ons were described as easily achievable. This yeah. will be stuff like plays 50 games, gets another 5 mil, plays 100 games, gets the 7 mil. You know what I mean? Basically, if you play for your club for seven, three seasons or whatever, it's clearly sick, give us the extra 12 mil. So, we're bidding 49 mil with a caveat. Do Brighton want that caveat? Now, they, they, they bought Cucurella for 18 million a year ago. They're going to get, what, 30, what was it? Thir 36 mil, 37 million bid. So, you, you've already doubled your money, plus more. And, and you know, I, who am I to say, oh, Brighton should should sell him you know it's not my place to say that I'm not a Brighton fan but like Brighton are in this position where this is Brighton Brighton are looking for these players you know what I mean that, that are in Spain that are in Germany to try and get them in players that are basically being missed by the big clubs because that's effectively what Cucurella is if you look at Cucurella he was at Barcelona then went to G Girona. Girona was it Girona or oh, someone else Getafe actually oh Get Getafe yeah, yeah that was Getafe, Getafe, Getafe for a yeah. year Clearly did well at Getafe because then Brighton brought him in. And Brighton are no mugs. Brighton are a good team. And then he's been bought by Man City in two years. So he's gone from Barcelona to City basically in the space of two years. He's clearly a player that the big clubs missed when he left Barcelona. So Brighton are probably going to go around picking up these players and saying, look, we'll bring you in. We'll, we'll give you game time in the Premier League, the most watched football uh, in, in the world. And then if you're as good as you think you are, we'll, 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 we'll move you on. And, and they're getting good cash. So, yeah, that's that's an interesting one. Uh, Ali, yes, yes, coming in with an eight. Says, big up, lads. I think Zinchenko better than this guy. I don't know about better. I'd say he's a completely different type of player for me. Um, I think there'll be probably matches where Zinchenko would suit the game more than Cucurella and, and vice versa, but... I think I do actually I do actually think it's really difficult to compare because I think Cucurella, what you're going to see from him this season is you're going to get him seeing bombing up and down the wings where you don't really see that with Zinchenko. Zinchenko likes to he's really about well, positional play, isn't he? Zin Zinchenko's brought on to shore it up a little bit, uh, give you a bit more security as opposed to Correct. his attacking threat. He's all about positioning. Yeah, Posi where, where should he, I be on the you pitch? Could, yeah, you can you can give Zinchenko the ball anywhere. Do you know what I mean? And you know that usually he'll keep it, and you can keep the passing play going. He's really good like that. Yeah. With Cucurella, best believe he's gonna be running up and down the wing. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean, like no tomorrow because he's he's, a, he's an attacking fullback. That's all he can do. He should be up and down that wing all day. You know what I mean? Zinchenko wasn't that guy, but so I think I think. Some will agree with you, Ali, that he's better than Cucurella. Some won't. I think it just depends on what type of fullback you prefer. But, um, yeah, it looks like it's happening. Uh, Godley's come in with a super chat. Yes, yes, Bray. Says, this is typical City, and I've said it loads of times. 20 million apart in valuation, but inevitably City will pay up to 50 mil. It might be 40 with add-ons. Well, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's what it's going to be. Um, again, the rumours were 37 with 12 add-ons, so it's probably something in that area that you're saying. Uh, but, to be fair... To be fair, that, you've got to give City some credit there because if they were 20 million apart in the valuation, yet they've still managed to close the deal and they're not actually giving them 45 million up front, 49 million up front, they're only getting 37. You know what I mean? And I think most City fans will accept 37 million pounds. But I, I always say, I don't care about add ons because if, for the add ons to be hit, generally, the player has to be a success. 
Not all the time, but generally. So if Cucurella ends up playing 100 games, we don't know what the add-ons are, but let's just say if he plays 100 games, we get the extra 12 mil, whatever. Well, for him to play 100 matches, you've got to be a decent player. So, yeah, I mean, I think you've got to give Tiki some, some credit there. I think that's uh, how he's managed to get the deal done with 20 million apart from the, from the valuation. I don't think there's many people out there that could have got that done, bro. Well, the thing is, Tiki's been doing deals this season, isn't it? I mean, as much as like people don't like the, the players that are leaving yeah. with Gabby, Stern and uh, Zinchenko, we kind of, it was inevitable before the transfer market even started that we were going to, because the rumours were coming out, we are, are going to lose players that we were kind of attached to and them three players are kind of, they, they fit that kind of mould. Um, and he's done, he has done deals with, with do you know what I mean, we got Haaland for 50 mil, bro. I know there was, a, the, the, there was a release clause in there and stuff, but still, the fact that we're getting these deals done is great. Um, I, I'm, I'm fine with the Calvin Phillips deal as well, and I think the same with the same with this. If we can get him for around forty million pound with then the add-ons to bring it up to fifty million pound, I think City do that. And then people might say he's not worth that, but then I think City are willing to place that risk. City, the people who've been watching him and back him and Pep, yeah. trust in Pep. Yeah, you know, I, I, and I'm back on to Tiki as well. The amount of money we've got from sales from the academy players. Oh, yeah, smart. Tiki being absolutely... I, I know what's happened, bro. Do you know COVID, yeah, when he had no nothing to do? He'd done that fast-track open <laughs> de open university degree yeah. in business management, how bro. To, how to sell. How to, yeah, that's what he did. He signed up for the fast-track, you know, paid paid the university fees and that, and then he just did a fast-track business management course at Open Uni, bro, and that's why he's, you know, because he's slamming the deals. Something's bro, our happened. net spend is wild. Something's happened in these last 18, two years, 18 months, two years, where Tiki's gone, I know how to do the business now. <laughs> He's like, watch it, boys. I know what I'm doing now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Big Johnny coming in with a 179 says, does Pep like S Brand at left back? He's our only other left back. Unsure, bro. I've not heard him actually speak about S Brand. I think he's a decent player, S Brand, and he's on the tour, so... Be interested to see if he gets yeah. some uh, game time. Maybe tonight we might see it. Yeah, correct. Um, and remember, guys, we are doing our live watch along tonight, half past one UK time. That's time to kick off. We will be live from one. So, you know what I mean? If you want to go to bed a bit early and then set an alarm, that's fine. But be there. Don't ha miss it, Harry keeps putting in the chat. So, actually, you staying up or going to sleep early? Staying up, mate. Of course, we're <laughs> if I go to sleep early, then I will not wake up for the match. Come on. So, I, I, you should know me by now, innit? I don't sleep. Look at these people. Uh, Nick Saunders, yes, yes, bro. Member for three months. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Says, do City want to sell any more players, leaving us very short in numbers? It'll be a very hard season ahead if we don't sign more players. Thoughts on that, bro? Yeah, Cucurella. <laughs> I think I think Cucurella then done. Yeah. I think what about sales? That's, you, that's, that's what the you're thing. Saying, that, you're yeah, no, no. Nah, uh, yeah, no. I think we'll sign Kukurella, and like, obviously we've sold Zinchenko. I don't see anyone else leaving. Bernardo Silva's not going to leave unless Barcelona pay pay hundred million pound. I don't know where their money's coming from, uh, and I don't see them signing Bernardo Silva. All the rumours are that he's going to stay. Uh, I know people still sweat about it, but I think Bernardo Silva will stay this year. Uh, Ake is staying at City. We've got that confirmed. I don't see personally anyone else who'd leave. We was already light last year, so I don't think the club would risk any more big kind yeah. of names. And I don't think the there's club. anyone that needs to leave. I think you know a lot of the academy. The thing is with the academy players, if someone bids 10, 12 million, I'm sorry, they're going to be sold all day long because it just helps the business tick over. Um, but in terms of first team players, I don't think there's anyone else that's going to leave. Um, Sean, yes, yes, coming in with a five pound donation. Thanks a lot, bro. Says if we get Cucurella, do you reckon we'll get another fullback or use Cabore? Enjoy the game tonight. I can't watch. I'm working. Thanks a lot, Sean. We'll yes, do. yes, Sean. Um, Nah, I don't think so, Sean. I think that we'll just... We'll keep... I think we'll roll with what we've got. I think if we have yeah. Cucurella, we'll have Cancelo and Cucurella who can both play on that left-hand side. Cancelo can also play on the right-hand side. And yeah. then you've got players like Nathan Ake who can fit in at left-back, which we've seen yeah, this correct. season. I think we'll use that and then save Kyle Walker was injured. We could put Cancelo on the right-hand side. Because in my head, this is how it's going to work, right? Walker right-back, Cancelo left-back. Cucurella then has to fight to, to take that spot off Cancelo. Yeah. I don't think Cucurella comes in and automatically starts at left back. I agree. If Walker gets injured, Cancelo, Cancelo will moves. then go to right back. Yeah. Um, and Cucurella will then play left back. And if Walker or Cancelo gets injured and Cucurella is injured, then Ake will then play left back. Ake will play left back. There is a slight issue if Walker and 
Cancelo get injured, but then you got to play Stones there. But that's like that's seriously unlucky. Like you can't have three fullbacks, so that just yeah. is what it Plus, is. Plus, yeah, Shishi there. Stones was decent. He was decent at right back. Yeah, uh, and we. I mean, we could always activate that buyback for Egan in it as well. <laughs> Egan, Egan. <laughs> so uh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 has he got a buyback? I'm sure we didn't. Nah, nah, he, nah his contract terminated, nah, didn't nah, it? I'm just saying it. Terminated. Jokes. jokes. Uh, but yeah, I don't <laughs> think we'll get another fullback, Sean. But it will be interesting to see what happens with Kabore. Um, I think he's probably going to be sold or, or loaned out. Well, the, the, there's rumours that bids are coming in from in there. Do you know what I mean? The city kind of like... Yeah, and if, and if they're over 15, 20 mil, which they should be, um, then it'll be sold with the buyback. That's just, you know, people need to understand we need to get the money in the business. We're an FFP club, innit? You know what I mean? We get we get roasted <laughs> every single, every day. You know what I mean? The UEFA always looking at our accounts and that. If we get a bid for 20 million for a guy that's never played for the football club, I don't care how much you like him, he's getting sold. With a buyback or a sell-on clause, so don't, don't, you know, shit yourself too much. There's always a chance that they could make it, but... This day and age, FFP has forced us to do this. We're business. So, it's a business. Business is business, Briz. Uh, Sean with the 179 says, I'd rather get Nori from Wolves. Uh, I ain't Nori. Uh, we was linked with him a few years ago. Yeah. We got linked with him this season, but only for a little bit. And it was, weren't like concrete rumours. I think maybe City had him on a list, looked at it, kind of decided against that. Um, they might have used it as one of the things to try and make Cookwell cheaper uh, when they realise that that's not happening. But uh, yeah, I don't think I know he's going to be a thing. I think if the Cookwell deal ends up falling through, and we don't pay the 50 million pound and we are basically going nope we don't want to pay more than like 30 mil I think you'll see us move for either like David Rahm or that Bruno Sosa I think he's called yeah. um, I think that's the way it'll go yeah no I think you're right a couple more messages to come to I'll come to them in just a sec guys just a massive shout out again to the today's sponsor of the stream it is the guys at Bet Victor. now they've got their own YouTube channel the link is in the description for the video that they've been discussing today Boovy has been on there having a, having a bit of a debate with Adam McCullough about Harland and Martinez is Martinez too small to mark Harland and will Harland absolutely destroy Martinez come, come the derby so go check it out links in the description make sure you like their video subscribe to the channel and let them know that City Extra sent you as well um, how how, how tall is uh, Martinez? Is it 5'4"? Five, five, nah, not that small. Jesus. I see, I see um, someone saying 5'4". 5'9", 5'10", I think he is. That's not too bad. It's not. Obviously, it is yeah, quite for, small. For a Premier but League, yeah. League centre-back, it's not the best. I don't want to, like... It'd be interesting to see if Kunde comes as well, because he, he's quite small, isn't he? Because apparently the rumour is that Kunde is going to Chelsea, Chelsea and Barcelona bidding yeah, for him, and he's small as well. That's correct, yeah. Barcelona with the Monopoly money as well. You know oh, he's 5'8". 5'8". 5'8", mate. That's, but that's the size of me. All five eight five nine. Derby, That's me. The derby is just tell Kevin De Bruyne to go to the wing. Tell Haaland to stand in the box and just put the ball in the box. Did you? Oh, <laughs> bro! <laughs> did you see it? Did you see the jump where Erling Haaland in training? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Did you all see it? Chat, chat. Did you see it? Erling Haaland in training. Did you see how high he jumped, mate? Like no jokes. I can't believe bro, it. It was like I it was like you, you got it. two boxes stood in and jumped off the boxes. It was wild. But it was Photoshop, innit? Like it was like the Ronaldo jump. Yeah, bro. it was absolutely bro. mad. I couldn't believe how high he jumped. I was like. I, I, I genuinely, that photo, I was like, start the Premier League right now. Like, I start it now because I need him <laughs> jumping like that in the penalty area, mate. So it's funny, it's funny as well, because, bro, in. he barely scored any headers you against Kyle for Dortmund. Walker, his assists this year are going to go right up, mate, because them dead crosses that he does when he goes, like, proper high, how is he going to be there to head him in, bro? <laughs> Hamza Haaland was fighting for his life during the rondos. <laughs> I seen that mad. last night. But, yeah, that, that is, it is mad. It is mad. It looked, it proper Photoshop, that. It didn't look real. Nah, no real, ain't it? Um... Well, was that? Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're currently on 57,140 subs. Now, we've got 1,100 people in the stream, but you're not telling me, right, that there's not 60 people here that there are not subscribed to the channel, There must be 60 people. Man. So there please must subscribe, be 60 people. Um, smash a like on the stream. We're currently on 387 likes. Let's see if we can get 13 people to drop a like on the stream. Get us to 400. Um... Oh, we've actually just hit 400, yeah. But yeah, I couldn't believe that. Sorry, anyway, we just talked about height, and I was like, I, I, I had to say it at that moment. But well, I've just, just found it. It's scary. It's so scary to see how how, how big Harlem was. Bro. It was a madness. It was crazy. Well, I've just found the picture in it. The chat say put it on screen. Oh, you want to see the you want to see the situation? But like, people not seeing it, no. Rip Maguire. I'm telling you now. When you see this photo, <sighs> incredible, incredible. Seriously, it's mad. 458 likes. Thanks a lot, guys, for, for dropping uh, the like on the stream. Man, I appreciate that. PC's in bot mode. It's in the bot mode, bro. Yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. For those that haven't seen it. Those that haven't seen it, look at this. You can't see there's none in it, but look at this. 
Look at that. Look how big man jumped. Look at the state of it, mate. Look how big he is. Look look how high he is, mate. You got you got to understand. Bro, look how look how look how how. It looks like he's just jumped on a trampoline, bro. That is mad, isn't it? That is actually insane. How has he got that high? You know what I mean? Not real, that. Jokes. Unreal. Jokes. Hopefully uh, we get to see that. Yeah, I know. I mean, you might see him tonight, innit? Make sure you join us for tonight's watch-along. Um, Club America versus Man City in their pre-season, City's first pre-season game tonight. One o'clock we go live, UK time. Um, so hopefully you join us. Kick-offs at half one, so make sure you join us for that. Got a couple more Super Chats, I think, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what was the last one? Was it about Ainori? Or was it Indian Citizen? I think it was the Ainori one from Sean Foggy. Yeah. Indian Citizen with the tier one. Yes, yes. Who will assist Haaland his first goal in the Premier League? Oh... oh. I'm going to say Riyad Mahrez. You know what? I was actually going to say it first. That's such a good shout. Jack bro. Grealish, but nah. I was going to say Riyad Mahrez. Nah, you know what you did there, bro? You engaged your brain. Yeah, I used it. Yeah, you wasn't you wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to go for a big, like, mad shout. You know, I'm going to go edgy. I want to be the edgy guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> what you did do, you engage brain mode. You know what I mean? Uh, and and uh, overclock the brain. And then, boom, <laughs> you, you slammed out you slammed out facts. Yeah. I think uh, Mahrez this season, right? I think he's going to go up a level. He's got that new deal. He's got that new driller. New you know deal. I mean? Guy's happy. Bro, he's got that looking like cash. he's got a new lease of life, innit? I agree, bro. I agree. He's on Twitter joking with the City fans. He's having a good time. And also, right, you know, remember that first year when Mahrez came to the football club? Maybe the first 18 months, people weren't sold on him. People nah, were like, struggled, mm -hmm. didn't it? He struggled a bit. But to be fair, this was, we didn't know about the curse. We, this wasn't a full curse situation, right? So obviously now we know. There's a one-season winger curse at Man City with Pep yeah. Guardiola. So if you're a winger and you join Man City the first year, you're going to be trashing it. Like, we all just accept that as a, as a standard procedure. But at the time, like, we didn't know that was a thing. So basically, I think we need to, like, put that to one side. But now the point I'm making is every, every City fan loves Riyad Mahrez now. Yeah. Uh, every every I, City he's fan is. feeling that energy, bro. Yeah, yeah and I, I, he feeds off that, innit? Um, I'm buzzing out to sign that new deal. I'm actually, I, I'm gassed about that. It's going to be... I reckon... I'm, I'm with you, bro. I reckon he'll cook this year. I reckon his assists are going to go through the roof, bro. I think I think he's going to slam, man. You, you already know what I think about Mahrez in terms of Champs League. I think he's like... He's he our Mr. Champions, Champions League. He has to it? start Champions League games. He is our Mr. Champions League. But I think, like, in terms of just being, like, a sick player, like, all round, which he already is, but I think he's basically going to go up level. Because one thing that I've always said about Mahrez is, if you look at his numbers, I always believe that he... I reckon Riyad Mahrez looks at his numbers at the end of the season and goes, I could have done better there. I could, have, I could have got better numbers. For what, for one reason or another, I'm not going to go to the reasons. But this year, with Haaland in the middle, you best watch it, mate. Algerian King is about to take take over. <laughs> take over. <laughs> uh, Godly, yes, yes, Godly with 17.99. Yes, yes, Bray. Uh, guys, how are you feeling about tonight's game? I'm mixed emotions. I'm excited to see the new signings. However, Foden, Mr. Whipping Stone not being there does disrupt our preseason plans a bit. Plus, we don't have enough games. Yeah, there's only two games preseason, yeah. then it's Community Shield. Is that next weekend, Community Shield, bro? Yeah. That's what it is. Um, yeah, so Community Shield next weekend, which is pretty mad. Uh, I thought we'd have had a bit more preseason games, to be honest. At least, like, maybe three or something, but... Well, I mean. did discuss this, actually, a little bit with the chat when you was away, bro. And I did, I did ask people, I said, look, what do you guys think about this lack of preseason games? Like, not to sort of, like, start a proper negative situation, but two games. Not when, when Liverpool are playing five, West Ham are playing six. Liverpool play five preseason yeah, games. Six, including the uh, community, community Shield. We're playing three, including the Community Shield. Like... Just seems a little bit weird to me, like especially given the fact that after Bayern Munich, after Bayern Munich, which is in two days, we have a week off, a week before we play Liverpool. So I did suggest that maybe there will be a behind the doors friendly, you know, at the CF, at the CFA, because the under twenty ones they played Stockport County the other day. Ah, uh, so, so they, yeah, there could be something, yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll just say to Burnley or like local club, just say come down the CFG. Uh, CFA, sorry, and you know we'll have a we'll have a little preseason game behind closed doors or whatever. So because I can't, yeah. I cannot believe that Man City are going into this season with two games. I and as well, I boy, it that. might be a situation where we're doing that when the when the when everyone's back, so that we can kind of get players like. Uh, Mr. Whippy, do you know what I mean? Foden, do you know what I mean? Players like them, Stones, getting straight back into nah, it. the Barca get nah, yo, the, bar, yeah. the Barca games when the season started, that's you, the end of you, August. You, what you're doing there, guys, you're playing logic, right? So you'd think that the Barcelona pre-season game would be 
pre-season. Nah, it ain't no pre-season. Real, it? it's, it's no pre-season. It's, it's mid-season. It's mid-season. It's the weirdest mid-season game. It's after like game. four games in the Premier League. So, yeah. Aren't we playing like every three days there as well like after that? It's, it's, yeah. it's a so, mad time. For those that just put that in the chat, don't feel embarrassed, right? Because like, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Like what, you're, what you think would be true, like you'd think that in it. But That's what you think the club would plan in it. The Barca game for being pre-season game, but nah. Don't think like that. They don't work like that. Um, but yeah, how are we feeling about tonight's game? I'm just excited, mate. I'm not like mixed yeah, emotions I'm because puzzled. of like Foden, Stones and Gundogan and stuff like that. I'm not really thinking about that, to be honest. Not mine. Um, I'm genuinely just excited to see our new signings. We could see some new implementations of new styles of play. You, you know what I mean? You put on Twitter today, bro, or just before, saying about maybe Alvarez and Haaland starting. Do you know what I mean? Give me that it's fire. just It's just mad stuff, innit? It's it's just some mad stuff that uh, we could expect from it, and there'll be big cha big changes in it. We'll see quite a few players play, so I'm just excited. That's it. No mixed emotions for me. Yeah, nah, interesting, bro. I'm uh, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Asgar, uh, member of six months. Yes, yes, we're tier one. Fab spoke a Bernardo deal, depending on Frankie De Jong leaving. Um, I don't think Bernardo's going to go anywhere, to be honest, mate. And I don't. Lost Frankie De Jong. Yeah, Fra <laughs> Frankie De Jong is basically. I think Barca want to sell him. United want to buy him. They're fine with that, but Frankie De Jong's like, nah, I'm staying. Because he's got a contract there, yeah, and he's owed yeah. like fifty mil or something, and he's like, he's all like for mad cash, so he ain't gonna go nowhere. He's not gonna just gonna go. You know, the only way I see it happening is he doesn't even want to go United though. This is the only thing. The only, the only way I see it happening is if United turn around and say to him, "We will give you the cash that Barcelona owe you." Yeah, which they're not gonna do. Which they're not gonna do. Nah, he's not gonna go. I've, I've said it. I've said it now for two months. He Bernardo will, stays. He, he will leave next summer. Bernardo Silva. Do you know what facts. it is? Facts. <laughs> it's not facts. <laughs> I think it's a fact, bro. I think I think he's basically. I think it's gonna leave. I, I, I'm 99 percent sure he'll leave next summer. How? But, unless unless he's happy in the city again, which I don't think. <laughs> but he could be happy now. Now, nah, because if he's happy, we'll just sign a new deal. Because he's on a dead wage. What's, oh yeah, there must be a new deal in front of him as well. City might. Oh, 100 percent, bro. Yeah. There's been a deal on a, on the table for the last two years, but he's not accepting it. I reckon. Uh, yeah, I reckon he'll be gone next summer. I reckon him and Gundogan gone next summer. Jude Bellingham season. Let's go. He, I, I think, I think losing Bernardo Silva will be one of the biggest losses that we'll have. Oh, it will be. I'm not saying I want that to happen. I just, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I don't think he'll. I, I, well, I think he'll leave. When, when does his contract end? Two, three years. So next year will be two years left. So if you, can't, if you don't sell him next year, he's either got to sign a new deal or he's got one year left. And then I reckon, I reckon, it yeah, I reckon we'll cash in. We'll cash in. We don't. We won't be. In, it won't want to be in a Sterling situation. We'll cash in. If he if he wants to go next next summer, especially because Jude Bellingham is available next summer, City will sell and get Jude Bellingham. I'm telling you now. Yeah. Um, where am I up to Sean Michaels again with the two? Yes, yes, Sean. Uh, Haaland is going to dunk on him. He's a midget centre back. Uh, about uh, Martinez. Uh, KDB King of Assists with a four forty nine. Yes, yes. I love your idea that tier three streams will have tier one and tier two <laughs> members. Uh, yeah, for people that missed that, I think you put a community post, didn't you? I did. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, but basically, we're, we're, the extra club is becoming less complicated, and we're merging it down into one tier for everyone, so that if you're in, you're in, and everyone's involved. The one, something that me and Lewis didn't like from the start was how it was like, yeah, you're in the extra club, but you're only tier one. You're not a tier three, you know what I mean? So you don't get this. We didn't kind of like that. Um, and people are like, oh, you're doing it for the money. It's 100% not money because uh, we'll probably end up losing money from going like this. But it's a good move. It's a good move going forward. Uh, Alf Harlan with a 179 says, check JG10 message on the Discord. Wait, what? Oh, you just talk about Paul Torres. I've seen a bit of rumours about oh, Paul, Paul Torres. I seen Matt Goldberg out of nowhere to say, oh, Paul Torres to City, but I was like, why, why, why would we sign another centre-back? I don't know why. Why Why would we sign Paul we Torres? Don't, we, don't, we don't need another centre-back now. No, I don't know, man. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one, that one, bro. We'll have to wait until we see some, like, legit... Legit concrete, like, news on that. Yeah. Then maybe you'll, you'll see some Paul Torres streams, innit? Some, uh, some legitness. Dan Rowe with a 179. Top six are in the bin this season, lads. Uh, I hope so, mate. I hope it's a, a whitewash for City. As much as I love it when Premier League's nice and close, it's stressful as anything. It is too stressful. It's too, it, the, the stress Ruins weekends, bro. Yeah, you know it what does. I mean? But basically, I've almost been dumped about ten times last season. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> my my relationship was in the mud last season. Come the end of it, you know what I mean, bro. The, the thing is, the, the thing is, bro. You lose a game. And you feel like the season's yeah, over. Yeah. Just by losing yeah. one game, innit? I just I'd love a little bit of a gap in it. A little bit can, hopefully Haaland can provide that gap 
Or maybe Alvarez is the guy to provide that gap. I've seen loads of people saying he's going to outscore Haaland. Imagine. Um, professional idiot with a 10. Yes, yes. Haaland is a physical beast. Broke beast. records. Be- <laughs> broke records at an early age. And under Pep would more than likely improve massively. Um, I think so. I, I, I think you'll see the best version of Erling Haaland. Do you know what I mean? I think you'll, he'll go up levels at City. And the thing is, he doesn't have to score worldies or anything like that. He just needs to be clinical because the amount of chances that we put in that box is unreal. RXG, bro, Basically, you know right. I mean? No actual cap, yeah. He needs to go on YouTube and watch Jermaine Defoe compilations. Yeah. Like, not, not even lying. Like if, you're, <laughs> if you're laughing at that now, like... That's not even a joke. Like Jermaine Defoe, tapping merchant, isn't it? Poacher, poacher, poacher mate. That's a, that, you know easy goals. He scored sick goals as well, just in case. He did score Jermaine sick Defoe's goals. Watching, he, isn't it? I yeah. don't want to, I don't want to upset the guy. Don't he did, disrespect he did, him, Yeah, he did score some sick goals, Jermaine. But like on the whole, poacher. That's all he needs to be, Haaland. Poacher, isn't it? That's that's the situation. And so does Alvarez. Although Alvarez will probably have a slightly different role to play. I feel in the city side, I think he'll be a bit more like Jesus in in the way he'll be deployed. I don't. I mean, he will be, de- be deployed as a striker in, in games, but I think that you'll see him as well a little bit more like Jesus, I think. But we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting to see if he does end up playing, a, like, do you know what I mean, a few games on that right-hand side, especially with, like, I know there's the whole Neymar rumours, they've kind of died down. Pep said, nah, but, do you know what I mean, Pep says now nah about a lot of players when we're actually in for him, so, you know what I mean? True. Uh, Super chat for cold fries. Yes, yes. Cold bro. fries. Not, what not a name. Not a fan of cold fries. Nah, cold fries ain't the one. Enjoy when you order Mackey's on your briefs and your chips come in the freezing. You're like, what? Yeah. They, what they, what's I don't this? like hot fries here. I like medium, lukewarm. Yeah, medium fries. It just eat straight out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Fifty million for Cucurella means he's basically not for sale. Correct. I mean, if you don't want to sell something, but you sort of have to sell, then your price goes up, innit? Supply and demand. Yeah. You just take a degree up in like finance cold fries, bro. You know the driller, innit? Uh, Chase Dubert comes in with the five, says, would love to see Haaland and Delap up top together. Two big strikers up front bullying other teams. Bat lines would be sick to see from a C team. Um, that's mad. That, I, that, I, that, I, would, I, that would be pretty It'd, cool, it'd be wild to see Delap in there. I don't think Delap will get in there. Personally, I think City will accept any loan offers from this year. I there, there's, I've seen a few Burnley fans actually saying that. They'll get um, they'll get like company on the back of the shirt if you if you can get Delap in there driving stuff like that because yeah he's bringing loads of city youth and um, the rumor is that Burnley do want Delap as well Southampton are looking at it because aren't they just called he's called Joe Shields yeah is that what he's called yeah so and he he's the guy who brought Liam Delap into city the so. posh done it. Uh, I've, not, I've never actually yeah, seen him. I think bro, he's well posh, bro. You should have heard him in the interview as well, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> proper posh. Yeah, up the clarets or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that's not a merc, by the way. Like, this is what it is. It's just like yeah. it's not often you hear like uh, players like that. Um, where we got here? We got Godley. Yes, yes. And I think Pep's going to try out a different system tonight. Have you seen the Darwin Nunes slander? Defo need Haaland to score tonight, mate. Darwin Nunes is getting murked on. He's Twitter, getting like. cooks heavy. Have you seen? There's already like a full 60 second like compilation of him having a mare to be fair like bro I seen a couple of the misses in like I think there's one in training yeah and the ball it's just a simple ball in like no one no defenders either so the ball just comes to him all he has to do is just tap the ball in the net and he fully rahims it over the bar bro like yeah, I mean to be fair when we was looking at when we was looking at you know, bro, we did say it's a risk because he's like had is a one season smashing it. Yeah. See when I spoke to Grizz, I think I can't remember if it was yeah, it was on the channel actually. You guys probably would have seen it if he was in the channel when I did the pre season like um ch- chat with Grizz, the Liverpool fan. I mentioned this and I said, Look, I, I get the fact that Liverpool bought a big striker and I actually agree that they should have bought a big striker. My point was, right, if you're gonna spend eighty million, ninety million quid on Darwin Nunes, why not enter the debate for Lewandowski? You know what I mean? He went for forty million. Yes, he's older, but let's people need to stop, stop talking about the age and that. Like Liverpool have won one Champions League and one Premier League since two thousand fifteen. Yeah, two major trophies. If you get Lewandowski, they automatically become one step closer to winning the Premier League and the Champions League again. And the Darwin Nunes deal, bro, makes perfect sense at like forty to fifty mil. At eighty to ninety mil, in my opinion, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't mean that he's gonna flop or that he won't be sick. He could do. I'm saying. 80 million, 90 million, you pay that for someone who has proved it for, for more than a year. And, and ideally, not in the Portuguese league. You know what I mean? That's mm, why I said yeah. 40 to 50 mil, I can understand. 80 to 90 mil is not a thing that I can really understand, bro. Yeah, the thing is, I, I'm like, 
the th- I, I see all the the Nunes slander, and I, I kind of it's it's funny, isn't it? But I also it's preseason, and I'm very aware that we've not played any games yet. Well, and, apparently, Paul, this, and this thing with Nunes. Apparently, this is a bit of a trait. Like he's not the best in front of goal. Like when the ball gets whipped in. Oh, like, really? Like yeah, I seen a thing on like a thread on on a Twitter. It wasn't one of these like baity threads. It was like nah, legit. Like this guy obviously clearly knew his stuff, and it was like. He, he, he is sort of prone to these dumb mistakes and like, like you know, like Lukaku type touches at times. So ah, we'll have to wait. It's, it's think, going to be interesting. It's yeah. going to be interesting to see if he can like work in that club kind of system. Yeah. Kind of thing. And, and what I said, what I did say to be fair, I said, look, Liverpool clearly done a lot of scouting on this guy to pay that much money. They like the stats. They like the data at Liverpool. They always go on about the data in that. Like they're clearly like a very modern club in that respect. Oh, they love data, but they hacked us in it for yeah, our they data. do like the data in it. Um, so clearly they believe this deal will come off. I just think it could. I think this is a make or break transfer. It, it's definitely, it's definitely a weird one. It's definitely a weird one. So um, it's interesting. I'll have to wait to see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, although I am very much in the, in the camp of long may the slander continue. Do you know what I mean long may the compilations continue because that means he's not doing well. And the less the, the, the less he does well, the better for us, isn't it? You'd like to think so. Got a couple of super chats here from Up Up Up. Says, I can see Jude replacing Gundogan, but not Silva. Jude is a box to box player different to uh, Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I don't know what will happen in terms of will we get two midfielders in next next season. But of, of course, one thing I would say on that then is, you know, maybe Foden or Grealish will drop into the midfield. So maybe they will replace Bernardo or Gundo and uh, Jude Bellingham will be the other one. I don't know, but I take your point. Uh, you went on a diet, Bray? Or is it the shave? Uh, no, no, I've not had a shave. I've not had a shave for a while now. Uh, but it is, when I went to hospital, I lost a stone oh, in hospital. So stone. you know what I mean? Send me back in. So there you go. If you need Send that quick me. fix on the weight loss, <laughs> you want a quick a fix? I was in there for, infection. how long was I in the hospital for? A week? I was in there for a week and lost a stone. So do you know what I mean? Send me back. Yeah. <laughs> Um, member chat here from Aaron by the way says uh, Bernardo can go next year love him but he's been twerking to go for too long by the way bought the Costco fan after the AK stream saved my life so you're the reason I couldn't get another one cheers mate um, oh yeah that's mad as if you bought a Costco fan because you, you, we need we need a Costco like do you know what I mean a, a, an influencer card <laughs> an influencer card yeah but um, <laughs> I went actually the other day, I went yesterday Aaron because uh, I, like, you know, I bought it to try it out didn't I the other day on the stream and it, it, it worked do well um, now and there was the other the other night I think it was when I did the New York City derby the New York derby the other night in the MLS which uh, New York City won 1-0 thanks to Castellanos who's now going to Girona um it's, it got a little bit warm, so I was basically I thought to myself, right, if I get a second, it'll be chill, because it's, I wasn't, like, boiling, I was just, like, a little bit warm, so I thought, if I get a second, two in here, chiller, and I get one for my room, and one for Jordan as well. Anyway, I goes yesterday, and you all know Costco, right? Not everyone will know Costco, but, like, Costco, for those that don't know, it's, like, wholesale, so when I went in to buy that fan, I was, like, the first person to buy it, and you know what Costco's like, right? It's massive, like... Massive sections of th- these fans. There must have been 200, 300 there. Yeah, went back yesterday. All sold out, bro. I had the hey. uh, the pa- the painful text from LB saying, "Rip fans sold out," and I was like, "No." Yeah. It was hot yesterday, <laughs> and it was hot. Yesterday was the hottest. Yeah. So hopefully the weather just cools down for us now, isn't it? Instead. Uh, guys, if you're not done already, please drop a like on the stream. We're currently on 574 likes. Let's see if we can get 25 people to drop a thumbs up. Get us to 600, guys. Really do appreciate your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. We now need 49 subscribers to get us to uh, 57,200. So please subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And make sure after this stream, you go check out that video that we showed you earlier where Boovit and Adam McCullough are having an argument. I'd call it an argument. It's more of a debate about whether or not Haaland's going to rip Martinez uh, a new one when uh, City play United in the Manchester derby very interesting uh, KDB of assist with the 5 says we have Haaland Spurs have Son and Kane and Liverpool have two Mr Pot Noodles uh, not sure what that means but um, yeah I mean the thing is yeah Son and Kane I've said this for a while bro I think that Spurs could push Liverpool for second place bro L- uh, Spurs going to be dangerous if, if, if Liverpool year. don't get their striking situation sorted they'll be in the mud yeah Backs. It's, um, they, they need Salah to come back, bro. They need oh, a yeah, striker to start scoring goals. I think he's got rid of Mane as well. He's massive in there. They need Luis Diaz to go even better than he was. Like, everyone's talking about like, how sick Luis Diaz was last year. Yeah, he was good. He wasn't good enough. He needs to go up a level again. Salah had a terrible end to the season. He needs to go up again. And Nunes needs to score goals. They also need more goals from midfield. They also need another midfielder. I think Liverpool, if, you know, 
I think it's a massive season for Klopp. I really, really do. I can see why Klopp signed that six-year drill of me. Six years. I, I know drill. why Klopp signed that six-year contract. Because he was sat there, he was speaking to his partner right at home, thinking... <laughs> I can't compete. So, can't compete. I was like, I can't compete. Like <laughs> Pep Guardiola, he's got the lock, mate. He's got the lock. He's got this Premier League on lock. I'm stuck here now, winning Carabao's for the rest of my time. <laughs> nah, I want the Carabao back in it. I'm gonna make a it. big statement. Oh no! Big statement, right? Jurgen Klopp will leave Liverpool before the end of his contract, either so. by resigning or, or most likely being sacked on mutual consent. Ooh. Can they do that? I'm here to make statements and get a goal viral in it, so that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you did the now, bro. You did that once before and it didn't go well. Yeah, that's my that's my that's my LB big big bomb bat soul situation for for this. No, I don't know where he's. But the thing is, right? People bang on about how mint Klopp is. Let's be let's be real here. Yeah, they won one Premier League and one Champions League, bro. In six years, seven years. And well, don't forget the Carabao's. <laughs> yeah, but you know what it is like. At the end of the day, if he's the best manager in the world, which he's not, Pep is. But if he is the best manager in the world, which Liverpool fans will have you believe, then when he's got the best goalkeeper in the world, the best centre back, the best right back, the best centre defensive mid, the best left back, Salah, Mane, I'm sorry, like you, sh you've underachieved. Yeah, I mean, to, bro, we're, we're, not, but we're, we're, dig. we're constantly being reminded that they have the best team in the Prem. They play the most exciting football in the Prem. So why are they what not winning all the trophies, isn't it? What a trophy that is. Most that exciting. Like, do you think Mourinho's ass? You know what I mean? Mourinho's going to go down as a legend of the game. Do you but, think but, no, but the thing is, though, like, they're saying that they have the best players in that. So they've got all the best players. Yeah. You've got the best manager. Well, they have got best, fair, the best, best players. No, got, yeah, they have. They've got mint players, bro. So what's happening, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I mean, I'm just here to make conversation. Up, up, up with the two says Cucurella is a most tactically so crucial. I'm looking forward to actually having a left back at our football club, bro. It's going to be interesting. I, uh, it's been been time. It's been so long. Who's that about uh, for? Well, it was Mendy, wasn't it? Yeah, but he, 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 he count, played like it? ten matches. Boy, uh, it? Strange one. Yes, yes. One more month to a year. Thanks a lot for the support, Strange one. I appreciate you, man. Also, I feel like I've not seen you in the chat for ages, man. I hope you're doing all right. It says loving the new away shirt. Bought it today. Why are you not wearing it, bro? I even bought it. I brought it for you. Are you not wearing it? Why are you not wearing it? Because I wore it all day and I'm, I sweated it in a hard man's in the wash. Bro, you give me a minute before he started his dream. So don't give me that shit. It's there. <laughs> you have it tonight. Uh, I, I'm actually saving it for the thing, innit? For the watch song. That yeah. was the plan. Uh, Big Steve. Yes, yes, brother. Why are you not here, innit? Well, he tells us why he's not here. He says, sorry, guys. Can't make the watch along tonight. Had to go to London. I'll be ready for buying. Yes, yes, Bray. Hope you're the all good. Big LDN. London, People in the chat with actual members spam the Big Steve face emoji. Oh, I've yeah. already seen a what few already. It? Steve. <laughs> it's funny how he's got his own emoji in our chat. Yeah, guys, that's Steve the was looking at him and go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, no worries, bro. Hopefully you can make it for Bayern, man. Um, yeah, RCG with the two says, apparently Brighton are looking at loaning Tavares. Um, Tavares? Yeah. Arsenal. Yeah, it's... Not a massive fan of Tavares, but I don't think he's utterly trash. Uh, I think... Could do a job at Brighton. The thing is, as well, but if they get Tavares, they can have a they can have a full year then to do scouting on a proper left back. Although, you know what I'd do? You know what I'd do, won't you? But if I was Brighton, what would I do with that thirty-seven million pound? You know it, bro. If he would accept the deal, if he would accept the deal, go get Ram. Go get Ram. Go <laughs> twenty get, mil. Go get Ram. Twenty go mil. Get Ram. Mate. Twenty mil. The thing is, with Ram. Ram sort of like I believe in and out of the Germany squad or like on the fringes and if he thinks to himself oh if I go Brighton also isn't there quite a few teams like bigger teams that are surrounding him do you know what I mean yeah so well apparently Dortmund room, are interested anyway. but apparently yeah. they've got no money in it so I don't know what's going on there um, KDB says Jota has to score as well yeah Jota's oh, yeah, a good about Jota. Jota's good he's guaranteed he, he, he will bag he will he's bag. not top class is he he's, I, like, he's like below top class yeah he ain't like the elitist of strikes in the world kind of thing but I think he's he'll, he's guaranteed to get your goals every season like, yeah. he's, he's a he brilliant can. squad player yeah he's mint and you can rely him in big games small games but is he going to score 20 goals a season they no. got him for like they got him 40 mil or something didn't they yeah he's a good I, I really like Jack. I think he's class but they need someone who can score 20 goals a season and he's not going to score you 20 goals a season up 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 says Pep Klopp era is a, f is a face or forced it's literally Pep well I, I I agree bro as for the reasons I explained to you before I'm glad you agree it is literally Pep it's like but I think it's kind of Pep but at the same time if Klopp didn't if Klopp wasn't in it then I mean I, I know kind of Klopp isn't in it because he's won one, one Premier League one Champions League kind of thing in a Carabao kind of thing but um 
it basically, if it wasn't for City, Liverpool would be walking the league. And if it weren't for Liverpool, City would be walking the league. So this this kind of clash of both sides, I like it. I like how there's two teams up there. Yeah. I, did, I said before, I'd like a bit more of a gap, so it's less stressful. Do you know what I mean? I'd like City to win these, do you know what I mean, by a bit more. They do kind of push us all away for a trophy. Um, but <laughs> I, uh, I like this whole Klopp and Pep kind of area that we've got going on at the moment. Yeah. And, but to be fair, now, there's more people who get involved. Conte, bro. Conte, I think Conte, I, Conte's a good manager, you know. I think I, he, he's thrown his name in the hat for me. Bro, professional idiot. Well, I, I got a madness here. Oh. He just dropped a hundred dollar donation, bro. Professional idiots are coming with a hundred dollar donor. It's, it's, you know it's mad. But it's in red. It's it says, in red. It's bright red. <laughs> it goes, Warra Warra. Here's a one hundred donors. If Liverpool really wants to complete their midfield, has to improve massively. I agree, bro. Thank you very much for the dubs. I'm glad the, the chat has responded with the dubs. Yeah, in the chat, see, man. I, I love that. that. I love that. Professional idiot coming in with a hundred dollar donation, man. What yes, absolute yes. Goal. What a go. What a go. What a go. Professional idiot. Thank um, you. Bro. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. I agree. Minutes. I do think their midfield has to improve, and I think you know, as much as people go on about Thiago, he needs to improve. Look at Thiago, right? Doesn't get enough goals. But I you th- need goals. I think last, uh, he, I think he's on like it's weird. Cause he's on open trajectory, but do you know what I mean? He's running out of time, kind of. Thing. My, my question is right. I think Thiago is one of them players that comes in your team, and th- this is very controversial, right? And I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to say, oh, this is 100 percent right. And I don't even know if I totally agree with this comment. However, it's YouTube, and again, I'm just saying what I think. Yeah, I think Thiago is one of them players that can come in your team, look sick, but actually make your team worse. Yeah, I think at, I genuinely think that. at I times, think. at times, he just seems to be missing. Bro, I'm not, I'm not like some of the passes that he does, incredible. Oh, they're absolutely oh, no, unreal, unreal. Watch, outside yeah. the foot and that. Do you know what I mean? Has some of the Cancelo kind of passes in his locker. What's he doing? You know what I mean? Let me, let, let me, let me see if this is facts. Let me check his stats out. Yeah, because this could be total BS. This, you know what I mean? I could check his stats now, and he'd be like, "Nah, actually, I'll be." He scored better. He's goals. actually slamming. Let me see in that season, right? That season, so. Last year, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm spitting facts. I'm spitting facts, bro. He played 39 matches, two goals, five assists. That's pony, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, Blake's football meter says Thiago isn't known for goals. He said his purpose is to control games and passing, etc. Ah, yes, but he's not CDM. He plays a little bit further forward than that. You know yeah. what I mean? If he's playing as the six at the base, like Gundogan did in the Centurions year, base. fully would agree, and I wouldn't even be saying this. My point is, though, if you're playing further forward than Fabinho or Henderson, you need to be contributing more to goals, like Bernardo Silva does, and like Kevin De Bruyne does. It'd be interesting to see how many goals last season their midfield scored. Not enough. Because our team seems to be very well-rounded of everyone kind of chips in. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've had no striker everyone has had to chip in but that's good for going into next season even when we do have strikers because everyone can chip in yeah and bro people you know what I mean like, he's, got, he's got his five assists bro he's playing too far yeah. forward to be dropping them sort of numbers bro I'm sorry he needs to be dropping better numbers than that like I believe that if you're going to play Thiago in, in your team you have to play him in the sixth role people are saying look at Rodri who plays in the six, but I don't know it's, it's not really what, what, what so you're it's about? a wrong comparison. That's a completely. Sh- that's a complete. No, no, no. But they're saying like, like check Rodri's stats to Thiago. Oh, you're all oh, right. I was going to say you was comparing him to Rodri in terms of like he, Rodri. I'm trying to roast Rodri, kind of. But thing. what I'm saying is, yeah, if Thiago's playing at the six in the base of the midfield, I don't care about his stats. I know I'm not even making this up. But what I'm saying is, he often plays a little bit further forward because obviously Fabinho will be there or Henderson will be there or someone. You know, he's got to drop. He's got to drop better stats than that. Yeah. So no. you know that's that's just my uh, little my little controversial take. Actually, you know what I'm going to do next time I'm on the big six. If I if I go on again, I'm going to drop that. Ah on yes, there. throw it in, bro. I'm going to drop that on there, and I guarantee you now, yeah, you watch the chat. L L L L L. But actually, when you think about it, I think I'm I think I'm right. I think if you deep what I'm saying, I think I'm right. Like, how's our CDM getting more goals than their attacking midfield? Rodri got seven goals to assist. He got the he got the same amount. Yeah, he got the same amount of goals and assists as Rodri, as Thiago, but Thiago plays further forward, bro. So... I mean, on this, and I know, you, I know you've sent uh, more Super Chats, and there's a few more as well, but uh, this is very re- relevant to what we're saying now. God, this says, guys, let's be honest, Thiago was slam at City, Pep loved him at Bayern, and his role was an eight, not a six. Not everything is about ah, stats. Ah, yes, however, no, correct, but... 
but Liverpool play a different way. Liverpool don't play the same way as City in we the don't, sense that... Yeah, they don't play pet ball, innit? They don't play pet ball. I, I think you're right. I think Thiago probably would slam at City because we, we control the ball. We're really slow. Liverpool are about that. Liverpool are like, get that ball forward rapid. You know what I mean? All about it's Still keep the ball, still possession, but they do tr they transition up the pitch quicker than City do. So I think because of that, they need their midfielders to chip in with more goals. Whereas we don't. We dominate the team, suffocate them, and then our players will then you know create the goal. And that Thiago would slam at City. I agree. And uh, yeah, I think he'd get a like. I mean, I, I I think he'd do well. I think he'd do well at City. He'd get more assists, and he probably would get yeah. more goals because we'd be in a better, we'd be in better positions on the pitch. But I think at Liverpool, I don't actually think he suits the style of play, bro. Um, where are we up to? Oh, Matthew, the seven months tier three. Yes, yes, Matthew. Can't believe we played tonight. Is Big Steve on? Uh, no, you just missed Big Steve and his super chat saying he can't make it. He's in. Uh, he's been stuck in London, uh, doing other work in it. So, uh, but we'll get him back on for the buying game in two days' time. Um, Godley with eight ninety nine. There's a report from Ojogo mm -hmm. stating Brighton are looking to sign a Nuno Tavares from Arsenal on the season loan, which is what we were just saying then. I believe Brighton will sell to City eventually. I, agree. I, I think. I think the basically. If this is happening, right, and more more rumours of looking at their kind of replacement already, like we said before, this could be it might be further along than we think. Yeah. It might be in the stage of that they kind of they're just waiting for City's official bid to yeah. come in. I, and I think so. It. I think God is right. Here. I don't think City would have sold Zinchenko if they're not going to if they're not going to sign Cucurella. And I think Cucurella's already done because I just don't see them. I don't see them saying Zinchenko's gone and accepting he's gone without that deal being close to be done. So I reckon next couple of days, maybe after Bayern Munich, maybe they want to get the pre-season. Because what well, you know after Bayern Munich, are they coming straight back to Manchester or are they staying out there? Because we've got oh, seven days yeah. after Bayern Munich, so maybe City like, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll complete the deal after Bayern Munich, so then City fly back to Manchester and he can come up to Manchester. Rather Could than signing that. it. Yeah, signing it, fly, fly him out, out for, a day. for a day, then just to come back, What's the yeah. Point, it? So, yeah, may, maybe, I think I, I think you are right, though. I do think Brighton will sell. Um, do you think Phillips will be a great signing for us, says uh, KDB? Um, yeah. It's difficult to say great, because I don't know what you mean by great, but it'll, it'll be a good signing, bro. I think it'll work. I, I, I think he'll do really well at City. Yeah. Uh, I think I think at some point in his career, Rodri, will, this is just truth, Rod will get injured or go in a really bad form, but most likely injured, because I don't think he's got that bad form in his locker. And he'll be out for two, three months, right? Because he's playing so many games, it will happen at some point. That's the time when we judge Phillips. The thing is, there are sometimes, sometimes Rodri does dodgy stuff. I mean, during the season, there can be like a couple of games where Rodri's a yeah. little bit dodgy and you're like... We had it in January or February this year. Actually. Yeah. And we, like a month where it's a bit off, but... But we couldn't put Fernandinho in. <laughs> yeah. So. so, so you know what I mean? Phillips will get his time. Phillips will get his time and then, uh, yeah, that, that's the perfect place then to judge Phillips. Yeah. Correct. Uh, forget Nunez. Luis, De Luis Diaz is a bum. <laughs> not, not clinical. Um, well, I said, I said that before. I said Luis Diaz. He, he needs. He, you know, he, he did all right when he come in. Of course, he did. He did well from January. The question is, can he go up even another level? Because this is the thing. He did. He did good. Yeah, but. He needs to go up another level. Like, if Liverpool want to be fighting for the Premier League and Champions League, then Luis Diaz needs to go up another level. He can't just stay at the level that he was at for the six months he was at Liverpool. He needs to go up another level. So that's yeah. the question. Can elevate, he go up another elevate level? his game, innit? Do you know what I mean? I know he's doing all these fancy flicks and that. Do you know what I mean? Figure his name out and stuff. But elevate the game more. <laughs> that is true. Um, professional idiot, thanks again, man, for the $100 yes, donation. Appreciate, him, Brett, appreciate that. Um, Strange One says, I take Cucurella or Alfonso Davies for left back. Yeah, it's going to be Cucurella. Alf 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 yeah, Alfonso Davies is cash. He's got the deal till 2027 or some shit. So, yeah, cash money. Yeah, a couple more super chats here from Godley. Thanks a lot, Godley. Appreciate your do donations and, and KDB of assists. Thank you a lot for, for, for your donations today. It says, uh, one thing I've seen from Cucurella is as much as he's up and down the flank, he can play inverted as well. We know how Pep likes his fullbacks. He's best suited. I think he gives more than Zinit. Well, actually, funny you say that. God, I've only ever seen him play that position once, and it was against City, apparently. Because um, I went on his stats, and you can see when he's played that. However, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't say whether that is true because I, I can't recall him playing it inverted. But I, 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 you're not alone. Other people have said that. Yeah, I've seen it. A few people. I've only ever seen people say that he's played centre back before. I know that. I know that he has played centre back before. Uh, I've, never, I've never seen him play inverted and stuff I'm not really the thing is I've not given Brighton the time of day too much to watch Cucurella because say if we were linked a lot earlier in the season then yeah I would have been like looking do you know what I mean uh, to see to see where I'm going with Cucurella and stuff but um, I, all I know is that apparently he's very he's quite balanced do you know what I mean very good going forward and mm. decent defensively which is good that is good 
Um, M Doper with the five says, yes, yes, I live in Houston. It is as hot as monkey balls here. Please send some AC from the shed. Bro, no. We don't have AC in it. We have fan. You, you're thinking, <laughs> you, you put too high expectations on the channel, bro. We've not got that AC yet. However, AC comes soon next, AC, next yeah. season. We're gonna next get season, we're going to go big and get there. Because there's no point now because we've we've hit the pi the yeah. pinnacle of our summer has already ha happened yesterday, is it? It was downhill from here. Probably raining tomorrow. So, do you know what I mean? It's a cold, cold soon come. We'll get it. And what we can do this time as well, we can take our time, we can speak to different air com company providers, get like a proper th situation, maybe get someone to come out, have a look at the shed and be like, right, this is what you need. Do you know what I mean? Well, if, we, if we do it now, we'll be rushing and we'll end up getting the wrong one, man. I promise yeah, you. We'll, we'll be excited we'll freezing, bro. We'll get some dodgy one and it will, yeah. <laughs> we'll, that's we'll send snowy. you our PO box on the YouTube videos and ask you to send in like, uh, like you know what I mean, blankets. Blankets, <laughs> yeah. Nail some blankets. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, KDB there says Ronaldo was training with Sheffield United in Portugal and not with United in Australia. Mate, I don't know what's going on with this Ronaldo thing, bro. But bro, it's like it, bro. Uh, did no you see the rumor about um, no Atletico saying. Madrid? What are they saying? Uh, but apparently, he went to Afle uh, Mendes offered him to Atletico, and, and Atletico Madrid were like, not a chance. Yeah. The thing is, no one wants him. Chelsea don't want him. No. Nope. Uh, Barca, they've just got Lewandowski, won't get him. Yeah. PSG don't seem interested. Yeah. I still think that's probably. Maybe realistic, but still don't seem interested. But Messi, Messi don't want him there. And Messi, apparently, yeah. and PayPal don't want him there either. And PayPal, and he's the boss. Bayern don't know what. what Bayern, Bayern don't want him. They keep saying that that's not the way that we're going to go. It's it's <laughs> apparently, bro. He rejected. I don't know if this is true. It could just be like fake news. I don't know if you've seen it when he was on holiday. Apparently, he rejected a two hundred and seventy-five million pound offer to go and play in Saudi Arabia for yeah. two years, bro. Seen you that. Know what I mean, like that tells me two things. Well, it tells me one thing, that he has an offer somewhere, that he's like, I'm going to go to you if I don't get a better offer. Or maybe he thinks I'll, I'll stay United and win the Europa League. <laughs> you might, you might just think, I, mean, might just think, I, I don't want to go to Saudi, I'll get I'll get. If cooked. he does that, though, if he does that, he accepts that he's finished. In but, terms of, like... Well, I think that's why he's sweating hard about going to a different club, because he's like, if I, stay, if I stay here... I'm done. I'm done. I ain't going to win the Premier I ain't going to win the Champs. I'm not going to win the Premier League again. I'm not going to win the Champions League. Like, people can say, oh, Messi's finished, but Messi's still playing in Champions League, and PSG could win the Champions League yeah. next year. PSG have a good enough team to win the Champions League next year, and obviously they're going to win the French League anyway, which, you know, some people respect more than others. But, you know, the situation is with Ronaldo, if he stays at United, it's a dead situation. This, 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 just, proves, this just proves why you, you need to make sure you have a strategy and you, you execute your strategy, and if... If what what would it be called like interruptions or temptations become available, you need to resist and you need to just concentrate on the plan and execute the plan. Because United had a plan last season, and then temptation came. You know what I mean, the cake came, bro. They seen the cake and they were like, "Ah, oh, shouldn't have that cake." You know what I mean? Scra <laughs> scanning the cake rapid. Just just say nah. Don't want a cake, mate. <laughs> Not say no. Funny, yeah. yeah, the guys say no in it. I think. I think the City are the ones who are always presenting them the cake as well. That's the worst part. City give United the cake. Yeah, but we, we basically send United cakes. Yeah. And we say, do you like this cake? And rather than just saying, oh, yeah, that's a nice cake, they go or, and eat the cake. Oh, what they should be doing is saying, what have you put in this cake? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why send us cake for? Alexis Sanchez cake. No, nah, I don't really want to be there, isn't it? The cake, yeah. Manchester. Harry Maguire cake. You know what I mean? Fred cake. Ronaldo cake. <laughs> Mad. Uh, make sure you subscribe, didn't it? Because you know this is the best quality channel. content. <laughs> you know what this channel is. Uh, Paolo, yes, yes, coming in with a five. Says Tiago is the guy that's able to find the pass before the assist, as well as switching play from left to right with one or two touches. I agree. What you've just described there, Paolo, in my personal opinion, is the perfect Manchester City player. But unfortunately, he plays for Liverpool. Uh, Abdallah with a 179 says it's hypocritical from City. We set the standard. What's that mean? He still chatted that before. We were talking about something else. Yeah, I know. I remember seeing it. Abdallah, uh, what do you mean, bro? Put it in the normal. You don't have to send us another Abdallah, super chat. Abdallah, mate, I, don't send us another super chat. Just put it in the chat what put you it mean. In the chat. When you when, I remember when you said it, and when you said it, I still didn't get it. Yeah. So that's why if, if I would've, it would have been relevant, I'd have read it straight away in it. Do you know what I mean to, to get onto yeah. it? But I, I, I didn't even get it at the time. Please explain, bro. Please. Um, yeah. Dan Rose says, Are you doing a big. Are you doing a big hype stream before the season? Uh, a I mean, big we're hype running, stream. But if you want us to, we can do. What's a, hype a big stream. hype stream? 
I don't. Uh, I guess it just like. What does that entail? I think that he, mean? he wants us to get steaming on. Steaming, it. Yeah, yeah. But get us to sixty k before the season starts, and we'll do <laughs> a big hype stream. <laughs> yeah, you got two weeks. Um, <laughs> professional idiot with a five says, "Hell, I'll help you pay for your AC." Plus, I live in California, so I'm used to the heat. Yeah. Now, nah, next season, bro, we're gonna we're gonna get the AC, man, and then we're gonna be buzzing in it, and we'll do a little bit clip. We'll do like a little video of being installed because that's well exciting. Um, <laughs> Kipax Calvin with an eight says, "City Extra about to do some scouting." for AC units love the channel guys will you be doing a setup tour anytime soon you know what we should do we've been saying this for yeah. absolutely we'll time we'll do it as a short because we've got to do it for 8 minutes or like 10 minutes no, we, we won't do a 10 minute thing but also we've got some new changes coming very soon so we'll do it after that innit? because we've yeah. got like some setup changes and stuff to make it look nice here not like someone's basement yeah, or you bedroom. all got some good ideas man you should do it. you create your own channels innit? you know what I mean and uh, maybe we can increase the amount of cities channels oh my god and we just influx basically do you know what I mean we'll make the market what so we saturated we can become the Manchester City version of Andrew Tate, it? You know what I mean? Who just spammed on everyone's <laughs> on everyone's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Andrew Tate. We yeah. can become the Andrew Tate of the Manchester City, bro. And that's what they will do, and then they'll have loads, innit? I'm going delirious. Good afternoon, the stream in a set. Please, please do not send the, any more super the chats. Fans guys. Not, the fans not working. Uh, end up with the five says, also, not sure if y'all addressed it or not, but I'll be damned if Leroy goes to Arsenal. Can we just spam him with some City? Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like he's staying at back. Well, I think he probably will will stay by him but it doesn't look rosy is what I probably should have yeah, said yeah it doesn't seem like a long term solution for him it no. seems like he will be looking for maybe some like new club soon yeah um, new club soon come for Leroy Sane uh, it's just a shame because if he was a right winger he'd be perfect if he was right footed Leroy Sane he'd be perfect for City yeah yeah but he's getting not. back innit so he's not and up 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 with the final super chat of the evening with the five says y'all saw Sanchez saying he wanted out of United the second he got there dude said it looked different from the inside than he did the outside that's what I'm saying innit you know what I mean the, City put something in the cake poisoned the cake with uh, with something and uh, thing yeah, is thing is y'all, United have some mad convincing skills innit it's money. That's what it is. It's the money. Yeah. They offered Alex and Sanchez five hundred grand a week or whatever it was. Of course, he wanted to go. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know what I mean, I believe they've got a piano in the dressing room. Got as a well, piano there. Do you know what I mean? And everyone knows Alex Sanchez. Oh, is. there. Abdullah says in terms of Cucurella pricing and setting the standard on fifty million for like, it's typical for it. We set the standard. Oh, see, oh we see. set the standard because we were paying fifty mil for the left backs. Yeah, Matt, I so think we the, are being a bit hypocritical. We we should just pay. Yeah, it. I think the difference is Kyle Walker. I'd played in England in the Premier League for like 10 years and Benjamin Mendy just smashed it in the Champions League for Monaco so I think like there's a little bit more behind it but yeah you're not wrong probably bro you, you know you, you are right in what you're saying um Right, we're going to get off, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, remember, a couple more streams to come tonight. At 10 o'clock, we're going to do a stream. Only only short, half an hour or something. A little preview on the Club America situation because we've not really discussed the pre-season and the stream. So, 10 o'clock, couple of hours um, join us for that where we're going to be discussing pre-season and that and what we expect to see and then like I said that'll only be short half an hour or so and then we'll be going live again at 1am UK time half an hour before kickoff. you know what I mean quick maths for those people that aren't in the UK um Watch alongs, watch alongs return. Watch alongs are returning. Yeah, uh, so very last minute. But by the way, I've just done a redirect on this. So as soon as this stream ends, yeah, it'll go to that one. And then, do you know what I mean? I want to see bare people in that chat and likes and that straight away. Boom, big, big. Right, guys, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully, you can join us for the watch along, even if you can't make the 10 p.m. stream about about the preview. Hopefully, you can make it the watch along. If you're not going to watch it, you're going better, whatever. No problem. Uh, I'm guessing you'll watch the game on some other time in it. But other than that, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks a lot for the guys that. Are Donated. The donations have been wild yeah, today. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.